Hello everyone, here's the readings from the here's the reading from the prologue for February twentieth. Saint Leo, Bishop of Catania in Sicily. In the town of Catania, below the volcano, volcanic Mount Etna, lived Saint Leo, a good shepherd and compassionate teacher of the people. He had great concern for the sick and the poor. His zeal for the faith was as great as his charity towards the less fortunate. A magician named Helodorus appeared in Catania and deluded the people with various illusions, greatly demoralizing the youth of the town. At one time during the divine services, Helodorus entered the Church of God and began his obscenities. Saint Leo approached him, tied him to one end of his pallium and led him to the marketplace of the city. Here, Leo ordered that a large fire be built when it was raging. He stood in the middle of the blaze and pulled Helodorus into the fire. Helodorus was completely consumed, but Leo remained alive and unscathed. All who had been bewitched by Helodorus and who had looked upon him as someone divine were ashamed. The compassionate and zealous Leo was proclaimed throughout the entire kingdom as a great miracle worker who helped men by his shining miracles. When Leo ended his course, he took up his habitation with the Lord and from his relics there flowed healing myrrh. He reposed in the 8th century. The Holy Haramata Sadak, Sadak, Bishop of Persia, and 128 martyrs with him. Sadak was bishop in Persia after Saint Simeon. Once Saint Simeon appeared to him in a dream and said, Yesterday, me, today, you. Sadak interpreted these words to his flock, meaning, Last year, I, Saint Simeon, suffered. This year, you, Sadak, will suffer. Indeed, that year, King Sapper arrested him with many of the clergy and people and brought them to trial. Sapper first ordered them to worship fire and the sun as divinities. Sadok replied, We are eagerly prepared to die for our God, but we can worship neither the sun nor fire. After that, they were tortured and sentenced to death by beheading. Before being beheaded, Sadok sent up a prayer to God. Wash us from our sins, O Lord, in our blood. Sadok and his priests. And faithful gloriously gave up their bodies to death and their souls to the immortal God. They suffered in the years 342 or 344. Give a praise. What is the sun, the eye that does not see? What is fire, a servant without reason? King Sapper spoke to Sadok. Worship the sun and the flame, the gods which rule the world, according to the teaching of Zoroaster the, wi Zoroaster the Wise. Sadok gently replied to the emperor, To you, O emperor, be health and joy. But where does the sensible bow down before the senseless? Where does the rational bow down before the irrational? The sun, beautiful as a thing of God. The flame, wonderful as a servant of men. But can the created replace the creator? Can the dead be a replacement for the living? Is the painting better than the artist? Is the plow more precious than the plower? In the heavens, O Emperor, there is only one God. Omnipotent, intelligent, beautiful and good. The creator of the visible and invisible world. The designer of everything created. He is the giver of all good gifts a lover of mankind and the Almighty, the only begotten Son, revealed him. 
He saved us from the Persian errors. He taught us to stand on top of nature and to turn our face towards the Creator, to lift up our entire soul to heaven. There, where our homeland is, the homeland of angels and men, thus spoke Sadok, and Sapor beheaded him. Reflection Water is finer than the earth. Water is finer than earth. Fire is finer than water. Air is finer than fire. Electricity is finer than air. Nevertheless, air and electricity are dense elements in comparison to the spiritual world. Electricity is very fine, but the voice is finer than electricity. The thought finer than the voice. The spirit finer than thought. Air is fine and it carries the voice over a great distance. Electricity is fine and it carries light over a great distance. Nevertheless, how much more so is every deed, word, and thought of yours carried to all the ends of the spiritual world. Oh, how dreadful it is to commit sinful deeds and to speak sinful words and to think insane thoughts. To what immeasurable distances are waves amassed from this on the spiritual sea, but do not peer into the details of the unknown world. The main thing is that you know and measure how all your deeds, words and thoughts unavoidably create an impression on all four sides, on God and the spiritual world, on nature and on, on nature, on men and on your soul. If you train yourself in this knowledge, you will attain a high level of saving vigilance. Contemplation. Contemplate the Lord Jesus in converse, conversation with Nicodemus. How Nicodemus, though a teacher in Israel, did not perf perfectly comprehend spiritual things. How our Lord intentionally began the conversation with the question of, a, of spiritual birth. A question most inaccessible to the mind of Nicodemus, so as by this to bring Nicodemus to meekness and to further cultivate him as a good field. How in the beginning Nicodemus approached Christ with hesitation and shyness, as even today most of our scholars do, but afterward more bodily. Homily. He who believes in Christ the Lord is not condemned, for he judges himself and directs his footsteps towards the light that goes before him. As a man in profound darkness adjusts his footsteps according to the candle in his hand, so does the one who believes in Christ. He has embarked after Christ as after a light. In, dark, in the darkness of life, he who does not believe is condemned already. That is, he who does not have a guide on the unknown path loses his way and strays as soon as he takes the first step. He who does not believe in Christ, condemned to ignorance, weakness, anger, staggering along crooked and winding roads, vice, despair and perhaps even suicide, he is condemned in two worlds, in this world to a senseless, physical and delusory existence, and in the other world to eternal damnation. Oh, how dark the path, how dark is the path of the children of unbelief, and how deep is the abyss between their first and third steps. O oh, all merciful Lord, in truth, besides thee, we have no one and nothing to believe in. Thou art our saviour from darkness, sin and death. To thee be glory and praise forever. Amen. Thank you for listening. To Stay tuned to this series and to support the channel further. Please like, share, subscribe, comment and God bless. Thank you.